Hi, my name is Chris Jeremy. I'm a state licensed insurance professional. And we're here to talk to you today about a growing problem here in America. It affects three out of four seniors. And what we have, who we have here today is Greg Pritchard. And we're here to talk about the problem and some of the resources that are available. Greg, thanks for uh, coming in today. And uh, sure. would you mind uh, talking about some of the problems and the issues that our seniors are faced with? Yeah, yeah sure, I will. Um, I first got involved with helping seniors and their families when I was asked to take care of my own grandfather. And after three years uh, suffering with dementia, uh, I saw what our family went through and I saw that we were really afraid of him ending up in a home and that was pretty unthinkable. And also we didn't know if he was gonna lose his home and his income. We were totally confused and didn't know what to do. So I figured I would educate myself and I joined a great team to try and hit this problem head on. And that's why I do what I do. Wow, it uh, seems like a pretty big burden that kind of fell on you and your family. Well, you know, in terms of the well-being of your, your grandfather, it's, you know, it seems like you guys were pretty desperate in what you guys needed to do for him. Uh, how did that affect you and your family? Well, yeah, it was a pretty big burden, ever, simply because a lot of people tried to help. And um, at, in the end, uh, I moved in with him and uh, it affected, it was extremely stressful. And I knew that there had to be a solution for families to go to, to find out for this increasing problem of uh, baby boomers retiring and 10,000 people turn 65 every day. And so this is gonna be a giant problem for us to solve. There's been a new term out there called the sandwich kid. Could yeah. you briefly touch on what that is? Yeah, sandwich kid refers to somebody who is not only taking care of their children, but taking care of their parents at the same time. And uh, I've seen it firsthand and it, it's beyond stressful. All I had was my grandfather, but they take care of their kids, run their own lives, and then they have to make sure that their, their parents are taken care of also. So we've uh, put together all of our knowledge and talent and we can really take a lot of the burden off of their lives, especially the financial burden. Show them how to pay for long-term care, show them how to all the benefits and the programs that are out there that they may not know of. We're putting together a volunteer program, a donation program, and a list of services that they could access. Sounds great, Greg. So sounds like what you're saying is uh, it's time and resources in terms of money and, and extra help. We actually have a website and we're developing a smartphone app for uh, anybody to go to. It's for free and they can tap in any answer to the question they have about long-term care, whether they need anything from monitoring their parent um, to transportation, to volunteer come in to cook and clean a little bit, maybe go to the grocery store, um, elder law attorneys, uh, in-home care agencies, uh, pretty much uh, uh, the full spectrum of aid. Oh, okay. Sounds pretty much like you could benefit from it in terms of being an actual user as a, as a, a sandwich kid and looking for or providing that, that service or resource. Yeah, that's correct. Um, we also have something that's going to attach to the phones for the seniors where they can actually test their blood pressure and they can um, actually monitor if the, if the phone hasn't moved for a while they may have fallen and uh, they, they can't press a button uh, or they can't get up and, and call anybody so an alert will be sounded and if they don't move the phone and interact with it somehow the family will be notified so they can call them on the phone and, and see if everything's okay. So that'll take a huge burden off their mind. It'll be like kind of like an electronic babysitter. Sounds like a, a great idea. Uh, do you also assist with veterans? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, veterans uh, over 65, uh, sometimes they end up in, in the nursing home or after 65 we can get them uh, a special pension if they qualify. I meet a lot of veterans in nursing homes and uh, they don't realize that now they qualify for some assisted living money from the VA. So we can not only get them uh, Medi-Cal to help pay for their nursing home stay, but VA aid and attendance money to help pay for when they go back home or go into assisted living. It looks like we got a good resource that's available now to our sandwich kids, a resource that can help our aging parents and our aging community. Don't forget to visit www.sendcarenow.com and thank you for joining us.